Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Yakin' with Sarah, with me, Sarah. Today we're going to be talking about is the new camera. We're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison with my old Akaso and this new Akaso. So the old Akaso, if you know, I've been using the EK7000. And that is this blue one right here. The new camera is the V50, priced at $100 right now. This one you can get for $66. This one's a hundred, guys. So what we're going to do today is give you a side by side, and we're going to do a little bit of an audio test. Both of them were inside these cases when I did the audio test, um, but I will also do one outside the cases. Even though the majority of the time you're probably going to have these in those cases. So let's go over just a little bit of the differences. You can see that the cases are a little bit different. The V50 has the square uh, fish lens. The, oh, the case has the square fish lens. The actual camera itself has the round fish lens. The Caso EK7000 has the round on the case. All the buttons on the, on the front are the same. They do the exact same thing. They go through the modes. Uh, the difference is the V50 has the light on the front. And depending on how you use your camera, a lot of times I have my camera on my chest and uh, I like to have that light on top because I can see a little bit better where the V50 does not have it on top. I'm going to go ahead and take this out for you. The V50 case does seem to fit it just a tad bit better. The uh, EK7000 was a little tight, I found. So this is a right beside each other view of these cameras very similar on the front extremely similar like I said the only big difference is that uh, that light on the front that beeps where on the top you can see the EK7000 has that top light and the V50 does not the screens are exactly the same on the back Where you put your SD card or you charge it at is exactly the same on the sides. However, I found EK7000 would not accept a 64 gig uh, SD card, while this one had no problem accepting it at all, the new V50. On the bottom, a little bit different here, and this is where the V50 is starting to uh, outshine the EK7000 for one. It has that little uh, screw so you can mount it on your tripod. For another, EK7000, this battery door, it comes right off. That's how, that's how you take your battery out. So you have to be very careful not to lose this. I'm going to leave that off right now, just so we can see the batteries in just a second. Whereas the V50, it has a lock on it for one, and you just slide it right out, and it pops. It's got a spring door on it. I'm going to take this battery out as well, so you can see, so you can see these uh, batteries side by side. Alright, this is the EK7000. I have five of these batteries that I keep with me in my bag just in case. This is the V50 battery. You can tell there's quite a size difference there. However, you can put an EK7000 battery inside of a V50. It is a tight fit though, guys. So, uh, I would recommend you getting more batteries. Uh, just so you have that ease of fit in that V50. But if you are just cannot afford it at all and you absolutely have to have that footage, your EK7000 battery will fit inside the V50 and work just fine. I'm going to slap these back in real quick. Just like that, the batteries are back in. Then let's go over a little bit of functionality real quick. Turn this one on. Turn this one on. Both the power buttons are in the front. I have a different little uh, beeps and sounds going on. Uh -oh. There we go. Oh, no card in here. That's the issue. Let me slap this card right here in it.
There we go. Okay, back to the cameras. Got the SD cards in now so you can see them a little bit better. So this is the V50. Uh, it's able able to do uh, 4K, 30 frames per second in real 4K. The EK7000 says it's got 4K, but it's not real 4K. It can only do 4K in 25, um, and it has no image stabilization, so I don't recommend using it. I've only ever used the EK7000 for 1080p video if you've seen any of my later footage. However, the V50 image stabilization is surprisingly good for this price point. Uh, super impressed with that. Uh, just to go over a few things, gonna uh, let you just see the uh, open mode there for recording. Uh, going into the modes itself. With the EK7000, you just kind of flip through it like this and you finally get settings. However, with the V50, you flip through it, but then you get to this screen right here, and that's how you go into your settings and your video resolution, depending on uh, video or photo or just your general settings for the camera. Uh, remember always, when you get your new camera, it's going to have that uh, time watermarker on it, so you want to make sure you take off that. That's going to be on every camera. This V50 has a new feature that I thought is awesome because I wasn't able to use it on my EK7000 and that's video playback. So I'm able to actually see, let's say my battery happened to die, I can go back and see at what point it cut off whereas with this V50 I was stuck guys. Uh, I had no idea of knowing if I lost my footage or not. It was almost like using a, set, uh, a GoPro session or something like that where you just you didn't know where it stopped. Alright guys, so let's get into this side by side. What I did was I had these on this PVC and I had it up to my chest just like this. So it would be just like a uh, chest mount. And then every now and again I'd do a, a frontal so it would be like it was on a stick. And uh, just did a side by side comparison walking around the yard. And then I did that little audio test with it inside the waterproof case. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you think you'd like it. To see more like it, hit that subscribe button down below. I do kayak fishing, bank fishing, and outdoor stuff. So if you think you're going to like my channel and you don't want to miss anything, hit the bell as well. And as always, I will catch you later.
podcast, this is an audio test, and I'm just talking in a normal voice, um, the, uh, Call of Duty K7000, did never really have a problem with the audio with it, as far as YouTube, and I'm not doing anything extremely professional, uh, but I'm interested to see the comparison between the new Z50 and the EK7000, so this is that audio test on the two of them. This is an audio test for the Acaso EK7000 and the Acaso V50. This test is for the two cameras outside of the waterproof case. There is no casing around the cameras right now. Acaso EK7000 and the Acaso V50 outside of the waterproof casing. This is an audio test for the Acaso EK7000 and the Acaso V50. This test is for the two cameras outside of the waterproof case. There is no casing around the cameras right now. Acaso EK7000 and the Acaso V50 outside of the waterproof casing. <laughs> 